practice staff has done some research and uh, we are the first transit agency in the United States to offer an unstaffed bike cage anywhere. And there is one staffed bike cage on the West Coast, but this is the first, and it won't be the last in the UBK system from the excitement that I'm already hearing. Uh, this past May, we stood here promoting the viable transportation options to come, cycling to transit. And at that time, we committed to developing a pilot program that would provide our cycling customers with a designated location park their bikes. We have tremendous partnerships with the MBTA with Mass Bike, with Livable Streets, with the MAPC, with the MBTA Bike Committee, and we decided we were going to take that further step to not only provide our customers with a structure that will more than double the number of bike parking spaces here at Alewhite, but also provide a location that is safe, secure, and sheltered. Uh, the walk over, I was uh, walking to someone who mentioned Sitting on a dry seat on the way uh, home if it's uh, raining that day is going to be a real benefit, so we're very happy about that. Um, and I want to thank everybody who's here with us uh, for their continued support for the MBTA and for the multimodalism that we try to promote to improve the quality of life for all of our customers, and in particular our cyclists today. Um, I also want to say thank you to the MBTA employees who worked so hard on this project. A couple of people have noted, stand here just about three and a half to four months ago, talk about an idea and actually have it come to fruition both here, this bike cage and one across uh, the east of us uh, is a real feat. And I want to thank our folks from the MBTA Operations Support, Operations and Service Planning, System-wide Maintenance, the automated uh, fare collection folks uh, who have really worked so hard around the clock to provide customers with this great improvement. They've done a great job. You join me in thanking them. It was a lot of fun when we kicked off our smart cards to have introduce, uh, reintroduce Charlie uh, from the MBTA to uh, all of our customers. And today uh, we're happy to um, take it a step further with our new bike Charlie card. Uh, so you can see uh, Charlie is also multimodal. If you take a look at the card, he's actually riding a bike. And with this card, with just a tap at the, uh, at the gate behind me, you can gain access to this cage uh, and the other cage, as I mentioned, it's across uh, the other side of the station. Both cages accommodate up to 150 bicycles each. These cages enhance the parking capacity at Alewife from 200 legal spaces. And I say that because, as you can now see, there's great demand uh, bikes, bicycles that are chained to every railing and every uh, bench here. We want to try to um, alleviate uh, some of the uh, overcrowding that we've got in terms of bicycles by going from 200 spaces to a total of 500 spaces. And it's free. Uh, the card is free parking of these cages is pretty first come first serve. Uh, customers can get one of the uh, new uh, bike Charlie cards from the customer service agents or other station personnel here and we'll also be handing them out at Downtown Crossing's customer service center and if you want further information you can go to our website at uh, www.mbta.com. And this is really uh, a great example here at Alewife of the kind of things that we're trying to do across the MBTA system to boost bike Capacity. We've uh, actually increased capacity since 2004 by over 70 percent. Today, 90 percent of MBTA subway and commuter rail stations provide bike parking. With more and more customers that are taking advantage of bike parking, fewer cars on the road, means less pollution, and a fitter uh, customers, uh, fit, fitter customers also at the MBTA. So it's great for everybody. And our customers have become more creative in their commute, and we need to be more resourceful in assisting them in their commute. Not only are these cages uh, enclosed with security fencing and covered with a canopy, but each cage is also monitored by surveillance cameras. Safety and security is paramount. A lot of folks who like the bike spend a lot of money on their equipment, and they want to make sure that when they go back there at the end of the day, the bike is still here. And with four security cameras in each one of these uh, cages, I can assure you that uh, we're going to see a real decrease in the number of thefts here at Alewife and throughout the system as we expand this pilot. Um, and to promote, promote a positive experience to our bike cycling uh, customers, we're using this as an opportunity to our MBTA Transit Police uh, to stress always, not the, the, can't stress enough, please always lock your bike. In addition, in addition to the bike cages, we're also announcing a bicycle theft awareness campaign. Um, we have uh, flyers that the MBTA Transit Police and other folks are putting uh, out and handing out to folks. Just to re remind folks of some, in some cases, common sense and some other cases, we're able to offer to try to boost uh, 
safety and security of folks who are taking their bikes here. Right there. Well, there's a lot of great things happening, and I want to uh, invite some of the folks who have been so supportive and so helpful uh, in making this uh, happen to come forward and say a couple of words. And first, uh, here we are in the great city of Cambridge, and I want to invite Denise Simmons, who is the mayor of Cambridge. Uh, it's an honor to have her uh, with us today, and uh, I'm very much looking forward as we work together to expand transit-related issues uh, here in Cambridge and surrounding communities. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Simmons.